643, welcome back. Are you having trouble getting a response from an employer while seeking a job? Are you taking those video interviews seriously? Well, this week, Josh Connor from Job Fest for our Kern Back in Business segment is in the hot seat, here to tell you what you may be doing wrong in your job search. Josh, welcome. Welcome, thank you, thank you. What is the big problem that people seem to be having? The biggest problem that I've been told by my employers is taking the video interview too casually. This is a new world. This is a new from, job. I'm sorry, from the way they dress or the way that they respond? Interact. A little bit of both in okay. the way that they prepare. Employers can tell if you just walk in and you hit join call and then you start shuffling around your paperwork and stuff. Your stuff should be prepared. It should be as if you're face to face with that employer. You should be dressed. You should be teeth brushed. You should be ready for your day on these interviews. None of the important stuff has changed. Your skills, your abilities, that's all the same. But we have to showcase that now through these videos. Then the other thing that uh, I've seen a couple of times here and there is things like in the background going on while you're in this. Absolutely. Like you see in my background, there's nothing going on. Nothing on your TV. Nope. And no, no TVs on. I had to turn it off for the show. But <laughs> you have to pay attention to your background. Again, employers are looking at this. If you have a bunch of pictures of your kids in the background, let's say, employers are going to know now that you have a bunch of kids. Some employers take that as you have baggage. Kids are sick. Kids are home homeschooled now. So are you going to have to stay at home? Or are you going to be able to work in the office? So again, preparing your stuff the night before, having a notebook and a piece of paper about the stuff that you want to talk about, that's very important in these job interviews. And one more thing as on this line of questioning, I'm just kind of curious about when it comes to uh, the job and everything is also, because you're doing all of this, as you just mentioned, through the video networking, at some point we assume that we're gonna be going back to some type of face-to-face -face type of situation. Is there anything that you can do while you're in the video, maybe to make yourself more presentable as a possible someone thinking, yeah, they'd probably be good in person too. Again, just the way that you pronounce yourself, the way that, that you show excitement for the job, it's how to answer those questions, you know, mm -hmm. and don't pass up any job that's given to you because you're waiting to get hired back at that same employer. Right. So just be professional and be yourself. And that's that's all that you can do to get that job. And lastly, I can see right there, you, you still stress networking as a key requirement in finding work. Networking is you have to tell your friends and your family and, and the close people in the community that you know that you are looking for work because you'd be surprised that your friends and your family that are willing to help you find a job mm -hmm. and they know different people than you know. So they're going to tell you, hey, ABC company is hiring, you know, go over there and apply. I'll talk to my buddy that works there. You have to network. You have to network when you're looking for work. <laughs> Josh Connor, Job Fest Current. Appreciate your insight this morning. Thank you. Thank you, sir.